Here is your first look and hands-on tour of the new Mac Pro. Hey yo everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider going hands-on with the brand new Mac Pro. So we're just gonna jump right into this brand new machine. Starting off is the design. So everything is covered in this aluminum body and there's that 3D mesh front. This not only looks cool with these kind of spherical cutouts, but it also is very optimized for airflow, helping this thing run very quiet in our experience so far. On the bottom, we have these metal feet which have rubber pads on the bottom, but they can also be swapped out for wheels if you are so inclined and need something a bit more portable. On the top resides the power button as well as two USB-C ports for easy access. Moving on to the back of the Mac Pro, you can see all those empty slots there for the PCIe expansion. Along top we have the headphone jack, two Thunderbolt 3 ports, and two USB-A ports. And along the bottom we have two HDMI outputs on our base level graphics card. There are also two 10 gigabit ethernet ports right there next to the power input. Of course, depending on how you configure yours, yours can have more Thunderbolt 3 or other IO. On the top of the case is a handle that folds down flush with the casing itself. This easily pops open and after a quick rotation allows you to easily remove the top casing to access the internals. The case did require quite a bit of strength to pull off. It holds on there very securely. There's a lot of gaskets around there keeping everything very enclosed, prevents things like dust and everything getting in there, and otherwise was pretty easy to remove, a lot better than a whole bunch of thumb screws going down the back. Once opened, you can see all the internals that are mounted to that stainless steel frame. In that upper left hand corner, you can see the Mac Pro logo, which hides the CPU behind that. Ours is configured with a Radeon Pro 580X MPX module, which sits above the power supply. There are two MPX slots that can be filled, and there are eight PCIe slots. Three of them are full length Gen 3 slots, and one of them is a half length slot with the Apple I.O. board installed. There's also a USB port here towards the top where the SATA connections are. A licensing dongle can be equipped here, and then the case can be locked so it doesn't walk off on you. There are three fans there at the front. They are huge, obviously pulling a lot of air through this machine, and they are very quiet fans. There's also another fan on that right-hand side where all the express card slots are. Putting the case back onto the Mac Pro is just as easy as taking it off, just do the same thing in reverse. Make sure it does align correctly and slide it back down on top. Maybe take two hands so you don't drop it. It is quite hefty even though it is made out of aluminum. Once it is in place, you just have to twist the handle to lock everything down. You'll notice when it is down, there is a bit of a lip there on the front. That is appropriate until you twist this down and locks it into place. Also here where you can see that kind of lighter plastic out there, that is actually where the antennas are coming through the case design. On the bottom, you have two small screws there. This is actually used for locking the case shut. You can pick up a Belkin lock for this. I'm sure other third parties are gonna launch as well, but you just clip that on there and it locks the case closed that no one else can open it up, access anything on the inside. Apple includes a number of accessories inside of the box, including the best USB-C lightning cable we've seen from Apple. It's actually nylon braided and quite a bit thicker and it comes in that black color. So you're gonna need that lightning USB-C cable for a number of things, not just charging your phone or your other devices on the Mac, but you could use it to power the accessories that Apple includes out of the box with the machine. So you have your phone that you could charge, or you could use the mouse that comes with it, which charges over lightning, USB-C to lightning cable to charge your mouse up, as well as your keyboard. So any of your accessories, if you get the black magic trackpad, that too can be charged up over lightning. Considering you need to charge these things and the user accessible, the easily accessible ports are there on the top, Apple needed to include that USB-C lightning cable in the box. We were just really thrilled of how nice of a cable that it was. Of course, we have the power cable in the box. It is definitely long enough for us, and it's very flexible and nylon wrapped. So a lot of these cables often are ugly and uh, very stiff. This is actually a very flexible cable, which is gonna be really nice for routing this around and cable management behind the desk, keeping things tidy. Of course, there are Apple stickers in the box and probably the largest Apple stickers we've seen yet. They are huge, the size of my palm here, and they come in the black color. Then you have a little kind of getting started user manual guide, which is the nicest one we've seen included in one of Apple's computers. It's actually like a little bound booklet here. And as you open it up, there are these really nice photos of the Mac Pro introducing you to all the different parts about it. So it's not just your normal getting started guide. It's kind of a little photo gallery of the machine itself and all the decisions that Apple made when designing it. As we get towards the back of the booklet, it gets into the standard user guide information, explaining what the different components are and linking you back to Apple's site for more information on installing your own add-ons, extra card storage, everything else that you need to know about the Mac Pro and optimizing it for your specific setup. 
So that is it. That is the brand new 2019 Mac Pro. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Let me know down below in the comments, or if you want to chat with me directly, reach me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU, and we can keep talking about it. If you want to pick up a Mac Pro for yourself, you can find one at the link in the description. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.